bring in right now Bob Posen, MFS Investment Management Chairman, also a Bloomberg contributor. Uh, and Bob, I want to talk with you about the situation uh, in Greece, and uh, but also uh, what's going on in Washington. The FCIC hearings, uh, the financial regulatory reform, uh, really a spotlight shown on uh, computer program trading, if indeed that's what's behind the big thousand point drop that we saw intraday on the Dow today. Uh, do you expect do you expect Washington to start asking questions about what's going on uh, down on Wall Street? Really, what's going on with the actual day-to-day -day trading? If we can see uh, a drop of a thousand points on the Dow for a reason that no one can seem to really figure out? Well, of course, uh, Washington's going to ask these questions, but I think that we have to realize that this sort of proprietary trading is going to happen because it's electronically possible. The only question is who's going to do it and where it's going to be done. So if we decide to prohibit all U.S. banks from doing this sort of proprietary trading, we push out hedge funds, other sorts of derivatives from banks, we're just recreating Bear Stearns, and we're going to have all that done in a less regulated entity, which is going to be much more fragile than a bank because it's not going to have access to the Fed's window and also uh, it's not going to have retail deposits. And if we go one step further and we're going to say no institution in the U.S. that's large can engage in proprietary trading or financial derivatives and we spread it to all non-banks, then we'll have helped Canada and Dubai and Europe a lot because all those trades will get done. Yeah, yeah. The only question is where and when. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, I mean, that you point that out. When I talk to bankers about the Volcker rule, they say it's preposterous, it's insane, it can never happen. Uh, and when I talk to hedge fund guys, they say, hey, eventually it's going to happen. They're going to have to carve prop trading uh, out of banks. And you can understand why each, uh, uh, each of those sides takes that position. What do you think is the reality of the Volcker rule and what we're eventually going to see? I think what we're going to see is what's in the House bill now which is a much more targeted and sensible approach. The House bill says, look, we can't tell exactly when proprietary trading is going to be too risky or not as a general rule. So what we're going to do is give the regulators, the bank regulators, the power to come in and require more capital for certain sorts of trading, require certain limits on risk taking, and deal with that in a very targeted way. That's a sensible approach. If you try to uh, push through this broad uh, ban on all proprietary trading in banks of the U.S., uh, it might seem like a good uh, set of buzzwords, but it, it won't work practically. You know, Bob, we're talking about risk here, certainly when it comes to proprietary trading and derivatives and so on. Got to ask you, though, about the risk element that's come back into the market today because of those continued concerns about Greece. I mean, I'm assuming you were following the trading today. What did you think about this? I mean, is it a different world here? I mean, should we be worried significantly about the Greece contagion, or was this maybe just a mistake here in trading today, a specific trade or two? Well, you, you have a very fragile investor base who's gone through a lot in the last few years. Within the last three or four months, you've had a lot of money come back into the U.S. stock market. So it's a very fragile group. It's a very itchy group. And it's unclear to me uh, whether there was a mistake in trading or not. It's hard to tell. But when you have that sort of trigger, then there are a lot of people running for the exit. I think things will calm down. And by tomorrow, uh, we're going to see uh, cooler heads uh, prevail. And um, I don't think what's happening in Greece is necessarily going to knock, knock the U.S. off its uh, rebound. And I think that you still have all this money. Remember, all that money was in money market funds. It was all on the sidelines. It's only slowly coming back. So they need a little comfort. They need a little confidence. This is going to move things back. But hopefully uh, it will rebound over time. Got it. All right. Hey, Bob, thank you so much for sticking around. It's been an insane day. Bob Posen there, chairman of MF yep. Investment Management, also a Bloomberg contributor. We'd love to hold him longer, but he's got to catch a plane.